What is going on everyone and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be going over how to create a custom scanner on Webull. Now, you can do this on the mobile app, but we're gonna be talking about the desktop platform. So this is Webull Desktop. It's an updated platform that they've been rolling out and they've been improving um, and it's pretty solid. So what we have here is on the left-hand side, what I wanna point your attention to is a bunch of these different things. Now, I have a Webull playlist here on the channel, which I would highly recommend if you have any other questions about Webull-related things like how-tos. This could be a great place to start. If you have any questions, I'm building out more videos in this playlist, more tutorial style videos. So on the left hand side, when I'm in this customization tab, I have a video going over how to create something like this if you wanna see that. But I have this, we wanna to go to this screener section. So when I say scanner, you say scanner, you can hear screener, it's the same exact thing. So what we have right here is how you can create a custom screener. Now, I can go to the My Screener section and I have a couple things that I've created here myself, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna build out a custom screener right here and I can show you guys what you have the ability to do here on Weeble. So right off the bat, what we can do is, is just name it. So I'm gonna name it Test. And then we can go down on through as to where you want to kind of sort things by. So right off the bat, we can start by the United States and exchanges all. So if I want to just sort by any exchange, or if let's say I want to go to the NASDAQ, New York Stock Exchange, or MX, I can do that. But I'm going to leave all selected right there. Next thing is market cap. If you want to make things simple and start with everything, then just start with everything. Don't leave anything kind of untouched. And then what you're going to want to do is go to the filter section. Here's where we can really dive into a lot of different things. I would recommend you look into creating sector scanners, or if you really don't care, let's say you're trying to build out a watch list, which I have a video on how to build a custom watch list, but if you wanna build a custom watch list about stocks in a certain sector, that could be a great place to start. If you don't care about market cap, then don't use market cap. If you wanna find stocks that are hot right now, you may wanna look at the percent change. You may wanna look at the volume. Do we currently have a lot of volume? Things like that. And what we can go through is keep going through all these different selections, and from there, you'll start to kind of narrow things in. So let me just kind of select a couple things here and show you guys what I'm talking about. So a bunch of these things are pretty self-explanatory. You pretty much want to just look them up uh, and you can find the definitions to each of these things. That's not really for this video. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at sector, we're going to look at market cap, and then we're going to look at technical indicators, which I think is actually pretty cool how they have this technical indicator section. So we have MACD, Golden Cross, which generally when you see that, that's like a bullish symbol. MA5 crossing over the 10, so the five period simple moving average crossing over the 10, so a shorter term crossing over a little bit of a longer term, good for momentum to the upside. What's hot right now, bullish engulfing. Look that up if you don't know what that means. That's also a bullish pattern, you know, top 5% change in the past one month. So there's a lot of stuff that you can look at. Now, a lot of this stuff don't get too confused and there could be more things. If you go to a scanner like finviz.com, you're gonna see a lot more technical patterns that you can look through and sort through. But this is actually a pretty cool start if you wanna take a look at these things. I don't think it's a huge deal, but if you're looking for a scanner to kind of find plays to put on a watch list or find something to trade, this can be pretty helpful. Next, I'm gonna look at these sectors. So let's say right now we know that the energy sector, which energy, renewable energy right now, at least when I'm filming this video, is pretty hot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select these and then pretty much from there, I know these are only gonna be stocks in those sectors. So it kind of fits the mold of what's been doing well lately. And from there, what I can then do is I have a ton of things at my disposal and you can even scroll on through. From here, you can sort by market cap, you can sort by the range, you can sort by the volume. And so what I'm probably gonna do here, if I'm looking for a stock to trade right now, I'm gonna go to the volume. I'm gonna see that plug is getting a ton of volume and this is a stock that I may be looking to trade right now, right? Because we know that volume precedes price, just a kind of a general thing. A couple other stocks that I do, I do wanna point out your attention to, SPI, a massive runner um, from not too long ago. That is kind of one thing that you could probably find through some of this stuff. And then going down through, you'll see ExxonMobil, you'll see a lot of other bigger name stocks as well. So this is where you can then sort by market cap if you're looking for bigger companies, right? Well, you can sort by market cap right here. You're gonna get your Exxon Mobiles. If you're looking for more of those penny stocks, those small market caps, the stocks that can move big time in a short period of time, well, that's what you're gonna to wanna to go by and sorting down here. For example, a stock like OAS right now, I think OPTT is running on up, SUNW running on up massively, CEI has had potential to make some significant moves. And then from there, you can double click on the stock and then pull it right on up and get a quick sense and look at your chart right here on the stock trading section and see what the stock has been doing. So for example, OPTT 
no, no wonder why it's been getting some volume. I haven't actually looked into what the news is here, but stock gets been oversold, oversold, and all of a sudden it's making a massive spike. And so this stock has run over 100% since you know we kind of were at these kind of support levels or sitting down here at that blue line, which is the 50 SMA. Then from there, it's pretty easy. Either control click or right click on the screen, and then you can add it to a watch list if you would like, and then you can do drawings, all different things, buy and sell from right there if that's something that you are looking to do. One last thing I will say is make sure you go down and click save. So if you don't save the screener, it's not gonna be saved once you do a couple different things and you kind of customize things. So make sure you save the screener and it will save as the name you call it right here under your my screener section. And then you should be all good to go to go into that screener and then boom, find the stocks you're looking for and make as many screeners as you would like, which will help set you up if you really know, hey, this sector's hot, this sector's hot, or I wanna look at this sector. You should have all the tools you need right away to be able to do that at your disposal. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you guys want to grab two free stocks with the link down below and sign up for Weeble for free, those two free stocks will be valued from $8 to $1,600. Make sure you go do that. Hit the thumbs up button if this video helped you guys out. Subscribe to the channel. I'm posting here pretty often, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.